Hey, this is Bryce, and thanks for tuning into my YouTube channel, Jack of Trades. In this video, we get a chance to go out and do some running of uh, these two trucks here. Uh, we had a nice little break in the weather, uh, the New Year's Day, and we decided to take the family out to a local state park with some nice trails, and we were able to run um, both the crawler and the basher. Um, I'll get a little bit into these cars um, soon. Um, so it's basically a running video. Um, there's a lot of mud puddles, so we got we got the cars nice and dirty. Um, this car I've had out those trails before. It's a really fun car to take out for walks on the trails. Uh, and this car we picked up before Christmas, and it was its uh, maiden run. Um, so let's get into the cars. This is an Axial SCX6. It's a RTR six scale crawler. Um, it's 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 a really really fun truck to drive. <laughs> Um, it's, it's got the scale factor to it. It's big. Um, it's actually really, it's surprisingly capable. You wouldn't think it would be capable, but it is. Um, so it runs on, it's a 3S setup. Uh, and then it has different locations on the chassis to mount the battery. Um, actually, if you do take it out, um, the battery's not, I, I run a 3S 5,000 um, milliamp hour battery. They last about an hour. Uh, I've been on a couple of walks where they die on me and then you have to kind of tow this thing back home. Um, and actually in this video, uh, this died on me and I still had enough juice in this guy and I actually towed this back to the car with this. Uh, I took my belt off and strapped the two cars together and was able to tow it back. Because uh, this thing is a beast to carry. It probably weighs in, I don't know, 15, 20, 15 to 20 pounds. Um, it does have a nice two-speed Metal Gear transmission, so you can kind of kick it. I think what the problem is we're running it in low gear for most of the time, so basically the motor's having to turn probably twice as many times as in high gear. Um, and with the kids, I prefer to run it slower so they don't um, get into trouble with it. Um, but I think in running it in low gear for the whole walk, it tends to run the batteries down faster. Um, and then it's got the high gear for kind of scooting along. Um, it's based on the uh, SCX-10-3, uh, basically just scale up to a six scale truck. Um, and just to give you some perspective, these tires on here are seven inch tires. Uh, and then we get into this truck. This is the Arma Fire Team. Um, I'd had my eye on this for a while, um, and then right before Christmas, I saw that it went on sale on, at A-Main. Um, and maybe everywhere, I don't know. I don't know if they have that. I think they have that pricing, but it went on sales 40% off, and that was just, that was all I needed to kind of pull the trigger on it. So I picked it up on sale, got a great deal on it, and it's it's actually a really fun truck to drive. Um, it's, a, it's, it's fully independent, wishbone suspension front and rear, so it's more like a, a basher truck than kind of um, these rock racers, where the rock racers have, I guess, um, solid rear axle and independent front suspension. So, or I guess I'd call them rock racer, but you can also have like the short course trucks that fall in that class as well. Um, so it's more like a traditional RC car with the um, independent wishbone suspension front and rear. Um, it does have a third channel for a kind of an e-brake, a rear brake lockup, so you can lock up the rear wheels and, and kind of get it to start doing, um, well, almost like drifting, right? <laughs> Uh, but that's a fun feature. Right? The, the infraction has that as well, where you can lock up the rear wheels and kind of kick that rear end around. Um, it's, it's a fun feature to have in the car. Um, we didn't get a lot of chance to do jumping. Uh, as you'll see, there were a lot, well, we were with the kids and there were actually quite a bit of people out walking the trails, so I didn't want to get too crazy with the jumps, but there were plenty of mud puddles, so we were basically just um, bashing these through the mud puddles. Um, and that, that was a blast. And let's see here. I guess that's all I got on this. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the footage from our walk and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.
is. Yeah, side left.
Thank mm -hmm. you. 